Well, there's no question the Lorraine City School District is fighting an uphill battle. Yes, it has 13 brand new school buildings, but there's nothing new about its failing grades when it comes to student academic performance. Grades its leaders believe are on the right track to improvement. It's very disappointing because I know there's lots of teachers here that really work really, really hard to try to make our grades higher, higher here. Lorraine, mother of two, Shelley Stipe, was stunned by the report card issued by the Ohio Department of Education. Student state test scores that yielded an F in achievement, an F in progress, an F in closing the gap, an F in graduation rate, and an F in student preparation for success. Still, Stipe believes that tougher state testing standards don't paint an accurate picture of improving Lorraine's student performance. I don't feel good about that. We don't feel good about that. Um, we're improving. Lorraine Board President Tim Williams welcomed state academic takeover and pointed to improving test scores despite the state report card. Not all of our kids are failing. There are certain pockets of kids who are doing better than others. I'm not making excuses. I, our scores aren't where they need to be. Don't get me wrong. Lorraine Superintendent Dr. Jeffrey Graham believes growth in student performance is better than the report card indicates, citing more stringent state standards and state student tests that were changed three consecutive years while the district was under academic distress. Are they fair? It's an accurate measurement of where we are. Um, is, are they all appropriate? I could argue that um, they're not. Um, but the reality is this is the world we live in. And Dr. Graham added more optimism, saying that the district scored in the top 3% when it comes to student growth in the state of Ohio last year. He also added that the district is fiscally solvent, which means taxpayers won't likely have to add more money, at least not in the near future. Here in Lorraine, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.